What's up, guys? Let me share this story, this report that I'm checking out of Brooklyn from last night. So after the Nets went up two zip over the Celtics in the first round of the playoffs, Kyrie Irving went to his post-game interview. And he contemplated his reception that he was going to receive from the TD Garden crowd when the Nets had traveled to Boston, the place he used to play for game three on Friday. Now, according to Kyrie, this is what Kyrie said. I'm just looking forward to competing with my teammates and hopefully we can just keep it strictly basketball. There's no belligerence or racism going on. Now, Kyrie was asked whether he had experienced or ever had any racist comments made towards him while he was in the TD Garden. And Kyrie Irving said that he was not the only one that could attest to this, but he really wasn't direct with it. We all know about the stories when it comes to Boston fans and the, and the whole racist situation. We go back to Bill Russell, who won 11 championships back in the day. Boston was called the flea market of racism back then. Remember the Oreos center fielder, Adam Jones, back in 2017? He was called the N-word several times by Boston Red Sox fans. We've heard about Boston fans and, 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 and racism, Utah fans. This is the thing. The thing about Kyrie, this is where I feel a little bit of cap when it came to Kyrie, because Kyrie Irving played for the Celtics. If y'all remember, he requested the trade back in 2017 from Cleveland. He got traded to Boston. He played two years in Boston, but he was hurt for pretty much one year. But he played with the Celtics from 2017 to 2019. He's only returned to the TD Garden twice since he became a Brooklyn Net. Once in this preseason and once on Christmas of last year. Now, remember, at that time in Christmas, the NBA wasn't even permitting fans in the arena because of COVID. So Irvin didn't actually never play in front of Boston as a Brooklyn Net. So when did he actually experience racism? When did he ever experience, you know, racism in Boston? Was it when he played in Boston or was it in Cleveland? When he played in Cleveland, because mind you, when he went to Boston, he cut all the hair off his face. He wanted to be Mr. Clean Cut, this, that, and the third. So it's going to be interesting to find out some timelines of when he actually experienced, because he had no problem getting away from LeBron. I guess he wanted his own team that bad that he was willing to go to that city, and he wasn't successful. Let's be real. You can blame Kyrie Irving really for, you know, a lot of their failure that when that little tenure he was there. But that's a whole nother story. I just find it interesting that Kyrie Irving is concerned about racism going back to Boston. He said he experienced it before. But like I said, as a Brooklyn Net, they've only placed Boston twice in Boston the preseason and um, last Christmas. And they wasn't even no fans because of the pandemic at that game. So Kyrie must have received this racism feeling and this vibe in his Cleveland days or maybe while he was playing in Boston. It's interesting to see. I can't wait to see what the developments is. But that's the report coming out of um, ESPN when it came to Kyrie Irving. Like I said last night, the Brooklyn Nets went up two zip beating the Boston Celtics in the first round of the NBA playoffs. The Los Angeles Lakers got revenge. AD did his thing, led the way, and the Lakers tied the series up 1-1 with the Phoenix Suns. Biggest story, of course, Luka and the Mavericks. They take a commanded first-round lead to zip over the L.A. Clippers. I'm definitely surprised about that. Um, so, things are getting heated up, man. We had some good ball last night. Can't wait to see what we got tonight. But you are now rocking with the best. This is the best of seven sports talk. I'm Seven Mitchell. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the merchandise for all of your best of seven products. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's game three action, game two action, whatever we got going on in the playoffs. We'll definitely be talking about it. So have a great day. Happy Wednesday. Enjoy the playoff games tonight. We'll talk about it here on the best of seven sports talk. Y'all be good. Peace. You're going to get to 30,000 points, and because you are the best passer in basketball, it's pretty easy to get to 8,000 <coughs> assists, and because you're 6'9", 260, it's pretty easy. You should get to 8,000 rebounds because you were born to get to 8,000 rebounds. Well, dang, so yeah. am, am I impressed by this? No. Skip, just shut your ass up! Uh -oh. God uh -oh. damn! Skip.
You know what surprises me? The fact that you've been doing these shows for years and you've yet to give a realistic take. Get them. Come on now. How'd you even get a job critiquing athletes anyway? Get Your body's as athletic as Carlton Banks at Bel Air Academy. Oh, Not yeah. to mention in the face you look like Green Goblin. Get him. Somebody pull up the side by side. Yup, that's oh. him.